I'll go over the changes I've had. Uh, I took out the green bird's nest and a little bit of green matipora that was growing in it. It was dying pretty quick and it looked pretty bad so I uh, took it out and I bleached it. I added probably about 10 pounds of bulk reef supply, reef saver rock. I removed about half of it after 1.5 months. I'll let you know what I did with that later. And the rest of it I have sitting up to the left. I got a rose bubble tip anemone. It was about an inch in diameter when I bought it. Now it's about an inch and a half. And the color has really brightened up. I added a piece of my purple Pasillopora to this rock. I also added a frag of the wild acro that I have. And they both seem like they're doing well. I moved my Mystic Montipora. I moved my Grafted Montipora. It was having a little trouble the past few days, but since my water change, it has been doing a lot better. My tenuous got some bleach tips from alkalinity being a little bit too high. I'm pretty sure I had too many bio pellets, so I went ahead and removed half of them and I did a water change. In the past day, everything has been looking a lot better. Superman Montipora is doing really well. My purple Pasillopora has had a little bit of a recession. That was one of the reasons why I fragged a little bit of it, but it has stopped. This wild purple Acropora, it's doing pretty good now. It's looking a lot better since I took out some bio pellets and did my water change. This green Acro right here, has been doing really well. It's had quite a bit of growth on it. My Blasto Moose is doing well. I picked up a Diamond Watchman Gobi. It's a really cool fish. It sifts the sand and it keeps the sand really clean. It's fat and healthy and it eats whatever I feed it pretty much. My Duncan's doing well. My brain corals are both doing really well. All these zoanthids are doing well. This orange Montipora digitata is doing better. My green Montipora is doing really well now. I moved my Bortec pump. I moved it behind my tank so it's not as loud. I haven't upgraded to a quiet drive yet. I'm thinking about getting one eventually. My acans are doing really well. My clams are both doing really well. My Maxima's growing pretty fast. And my Duras is growing pretty quickly as well. My Zoanthids have taken off. There's a lot of new baby heads and they're spreading pretty quickly. My Chalice seems to be doing better in the past couple days. It has slowly been receding. As you can see, there's not too much white. So I think the recession has pretty much stopped. This German blue digi is doing really well. The growth is just taken off again.
I added a conch to my cleanup crew. It seems to be a pretty good addition. It's got a really long mouth appendage. It's kind of like an elephant trunk and it's got two really big eyes. It mostly just stays on the bottom and it eats detritus. My clownfish has really fallen in love with the uh, frog spawn right here. Both of them like cuddling up in it. Nothing much has really changed in my sump. I modified my protein skimmer. I added some foam to the impeller. It has been working a lot better since I've done that. The power went out on December 24th for about an hour and a half, two hours. And I wasn't here to reprime my protein skimmer, so the pump wasn't working properly for a few days. It didn't work longer than five minutes once I reprimed it when I got back. The pump overheated, so I purchased a replacement pump. The modification was running for about a month before the power outage, so I don't think the two are linked. If I had an apex and was able to turn the power off of my protein skimmer through Wi-Fi, I wouldn't have had this problem because I could have just turned the protein skimmer off. Something I gotta look into. I replaced my GFO. I added a ChemiPure Blue bag to my bio pellet reactor and I also reduced the amount of bio pellets in there. The flow was more yesterday. There's still a little bit of flow in there, but I think the slower flow and the lower amount of carbon going into my system, the better. Thanks for watching.